The rectus femoris head of the quad passes through the knee joint as well as the hip joint. Therefore, it enters what's called active insufficiency when shortened at the hip joint prior to initiating knee extension. It enters passive insufficiency when lengthened at the knee joint but shortened at the hip joint. It's impossible to stretch that muscle if you don't lengthen it through every joint that it passes through. All of this should influence the way you do what you do depending on what the fuck you want to accomplish from your training in the first place because you can modify the way you do a leg extension to increase the demand on the rectus femoris or to increase the demand on the other three heads of the quad at the expense of the rectus femoris. When you're doing a leg extension, the more flexed you are at the hip, the shorter the rectus femoris is going to be at the hip joint. Therefore, its capacity to produce force to shorten at the knee joint is going to be limited because of what is called active insufficiency. If you want to increase the demand on the rectus femoris, what you want to do is put the pad back as far as possible, lean back as best as possible without actually compromising the way you do the exercise. This lengthens the rectus femoris at the hip joint, which increases its capacity to produce force to shorten at the knee joint. It will also subject that muscle to a far greater stretch than would otherwise be possible because you're now lengthening it at the knee joint and the hip joint. If you like the information, share it with other like-minded individuals that would benefit from it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at, subscribe to the channel and support me, and I'll keep bringing you the best information that you're gonna find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, lose fat, look better, perform better, all that fucking shit.